Okay. I asked my support to buy them and he told me to buy them myself. <laughs> so I just bought them. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, mostly, like, the offlaners and core players, they, they just don't have time to, like, divert things. They, they just Oh, no, have to... I just do it at the very start. Like, I blocked that game. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Start. Okay. So they gonna have mid... Tusk or Sky? I think Tusk or Sky. In the rank, probably Tusk, right? Actually, I'm gonna rewind, I, I just was still thinking. Okay, so you see Tehis here. Ah, in this position, there's like. Mm, Magic is an abomination. So I will show like what he's, um, what he sees. Like you see him before he sees you, which means it's sometimes like good to even hide behind trees, like either here or here, because then he will walk straight up and you're gonna get more right clicks. He did it anyways, but like you know, some players might not do it, and you will not get right clicks. Also, I, I wouldn't be scared to even use spells, spell for it, I think. It, it would be fine, I guess. Because th the thing with using like spell here is that it's cheaper than 90 mana. Because... Yeah, and I would have uh, more right clicks. Yeah, you're well. gonna get like regen and you get yeah, one more right click, so it, it would be fine. Okay, so when this happens... I talked about it maybe only briefly, right? So when this happens, when one of you guys aggro and it launches onto the range creep, first thing what you need to do is put your hero here to yeah, get I this range creep. To... So let's see. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because the faster you do it, the better. Like you have to have it in mind like immediately once it's already happening. Like I would be already like trying to walk once it launches on my range keep or something like that. Nice, nice, nice. Cool! But perfect, nice. You used the spell for the range keep, that was very good. Yeah, you can even tank those creeps and get this last hit. That would be a little bit better. Because like, the ogre is tanking right clicks fr uh, from you. I would rather go for this range keep. I think the, the this melee creep. creep here. Yeah, I would rather go for the creeps that enemy can like deny and mess it up. Uh, and I would tank those two creeps on me. But, but it's like, so far, kinda good. Oh, there, there's a trick, like, um, uh, the goal in lane is to have it like, close to you, right? Like, yeah. to, uh, I'm gonna show it first. So, so the, to do that, enemy creeps need to launch onto your creeps, like, somewhere in this area, preferably. So, the way how you do it, is mm, like like imagine if you had two two melee creeps of the enemy right now it would be way easier to make it happen right if you had yeah. two melee creeps it would be easier so the way how you can abuse this fact is making this creep survive as long as possible so how can you do it there, there's some tricks first trick is like Running with the creep to the side because if you write to the uh, uh, like if you run to the side, uh, the pathing of your creeps will be longer. Like this distance is longer than this distance. Yeah. So so that's one trick. Another trick is constantly aggroing this creep. I Ma can't see your mouth, by the way. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna share screen. Also, I don't know how to aggro the creep when there's no heroes there. Uh, not how Wait, to aggro yeah, creeps when there's no creeps. Yeah, okay, I will show you that. Uh, Radiant, let's show you this. So this is like your perspective, but like it's free camera, so it's not like your player view, but like Radiant perspective. Uh, so, uh, first thing, instead of... Go, uh, instead of... You're not streaming right now, by the way. Uh, dude, still, nothing? 
Well, now that I can see. Hmm. There we go. I found the stream. For some reason, the stream wasn't. There we go. Yeah, I'm in stream now. But, uh, and before you saw the stream, but you haven't seen the mouse, right? Yeah, now I see the mouse. So now, now I see the mouse. Yeah, but you, you see it in my whole, whole window, but it's okay. Um. Yeah, so, so first I'm going to mention again the same thing with the pathing. So going to the sides, like this distance, is bigger than like this distance. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way how you aggro when there's no enemy around, it, it, it's pretty simple. You just have to like find them on minimap and, and you can do it with any hero. You can literally do it even with mid laner. You right click him here. And then the creep will start aggroing oh, you. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought there was a range I had to be in. There's no range for that. Uh, the okay. range ha only creep has its own range. Like he's not gonna launch into you if your hero's gonna stand like here. That's too far. I see. But if it's closer, he, he, the creep is gonna aggro. Uh, and you can right-click anything. You can right-click any hero on the map. Like some heroes, some offlaners that might benefit from this is like. Axe or Timber so because like Timber gets the charges, so you can right click like middle laner if they are not showing. Axe the same thing, like you like similar thing you can spin, you know, St stuff like that helps when you right click anybody on the main map. Yeah, so so if you draw the aggro, suddenly the cre uh, the creep will start moving towards you, so you can drag him even further, which means these creeps will start following him, which means you will have even more time for yourself. Before this creep dies. Yeah. So so that's how you wanna like abuse it and put your lane closer to you. Um, uh, all this is based upon what enemy will do and what is happening right here. So whenever you're thinking about, mm, I wanna have lane here. How do I do it? What do I do? And should I do it? It's it's based on what's happening here, because um, because you need to know if this creep wave is pushing to you or not. And the way how to recognize it is, of course, looking how many creeps he has. You know how like what he is he doing. You you need to know like is he doing the same thing like dragging this creep like uh, like in these places doing the same thing as you or what is he doing? Is he putting it under tower, which means it's gonna push to you to faster? What is he doing? You need to know that. If, he, if he's putting it under tower, then it means it's going to push into you. So you can abuse this fact a little bit and then it's going to be fine. If he does the same thing, you actually have to be like perfect about it and you need to do it better than him. Or uh, if he has just too many creeps under his tower, sometimes you will not be able to do it anyways and it's pointless because it's still going to be under his tower. So you can come up with different stuff. Uh, like pulling and stuff, uh, but yeah, you always have to know what to do based on what the enemy is doing. So here I would just try to drag the creep. So instead of so in my game, instead of this line being here, it would be here. Yeah. And now it's like awesome for you. Now it's awesome. Now it would be awesome. N but now this this is like above average only. But this would be awesome. Okay, you aggro again, so if you aggro again, go for the range creep. Don't hide into trees, it's hard to go through trees to the range creep. So aggro and walk like this, it's better. Nice, cool. At least you're doing it, so it's perfect. Oh, there's another thing, so it happened again, but your uh, ogre is kind of dying, and there's like no obligation for you, like if you go to up, if you go up, you will lose a little bit of HP, just a little bit, very few, like they're not gonna damage you that much. So I would consider walking up just to like scare the enemy to not go on the ogre for free. Because if they go on the ogre and you will be here, like closer to the ogre, it, it means that now they will fight two heroes versus two heroes plus two creeps. So, so, so it's not that beneficial for them. But if they see you too far away from Ogre, you're not protect him, protecting him anymore. And now it's 2 versus 1.3 of hero. So in this case, I would a little bit protect him by, by moving closer to him. But it's still fine. Like It's his mess up by even staying there. So yeah.
It's just if you want to, you know, play like Team Dota, that, that's how I protect like people. Okay, I'm gonna watch your perspective again. Yeah, so keep an, a camera on the top so you know when your creeps will come to you, when the enemy creeps will come to you. Okay, you are agreeing again, you're doing the same thing, you're gonna get the range creep, I like it, you're getting the advantage. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, I love this. I would cut a little bit of trees here, just because I'm thinking of, I, I might want to pull next. So uh, I want to like cut some of these trees here for myself. So I'm already ahead in the, in the last hits and everything. By the way, whoever, um, uh, cool. I think cool. I got three denies in a row. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay. Like, this is what, what what you should be doing. Cool. This is cool. Now you can, you, uh, for this creep, do you remember how we talked about previous? Like, using the right click to creep and stop command? You could have used this for this deny. Yeah. So uh, I will show you just again, like, slowly. So for this deny, for, for this one that's gonna die, you, you can already position yourself this way because there's nothing else to do. Like, you can either stand a little bit more aggressively in his face, but, like, your, your ogre is too far away, so, like, there's not much of the difference, or you can stand, like, behind the creep and hit it in exact proper time. And, and, and it will allow you to get this deny because like the PA even queued so she doesn't have Q anymore so so you will get this deny if you manage to do the trick you, you, you did it anyway say but you didn't do the trick you know so yeah get the range creep again uh, I still like to move further and mess up with rage creep you can even right click him like you can do the same thing as before in uh, but uh, you will make it you you will make it even um, you you will advance it you you need to right click the creep uh, range creep one time and then you hit, hit it with spell that's what you should be doing because if you don't do it right now you allow pa to get this range creep kind of so instead do the same thing as you did before but you're gonna right click range creep and then use the spell Okay, then I then I then I Nice, you can aggro this creep by the way So, um yeah, Okay Okay, let, let, let's watch this. So, what happened here, it mi might not happen that often in your games, but sometimes your supports also do something, like, so they, he pulled. So, I, sh I uh, you shouldn't go, like, back. You, you should be near places where creeps are. That's usually where you should be. So, if creeps are here, you, you shouldn't be that far back. You, you should go for the creeps. You're gonna get the the experience from uh, depths of the 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 jungle camp, and you yeah. gonna like do some something here. You s you gonna do something here. Usually, where the creeps are, that's where stuff is happening. So instead of instead of nothing, I would go forward towards them. Okay, this is cool. So, um, ha have you noticed how you have like two bracers? You're pretty tanky, right? These creeps don't deal that much damage to you anymore. Like they still yeah. do, but like it it's like tw le twice less effective or something. So when you're this strong and they wasted some spell, I might consider even be a little bit more aggressive in this place and try to steal this creep with spell, like with spear. So yeah. that that's one thing that I'm considering, and second thing that I'm considering, or or like let's say first thing I'm considering is all ab all about creeps. Like what do I, will I do with these creeps? I probably want to connect them with like these ones and put them around this area. That's like my first consideration. That is like gonna me win me the the game in the long long run, or like that's the most important thing, I guess, uh, but, but the second most important is amplifying my farm and destroying the 
enemy guys farm which is i'm thinking of this creep i want to steal it i want to steal it with my spell i want to steal it so if you can manage to do both that would be perfect so instead of for example doing this i would still rather be standing here trying to steal it with the spear and then connect after that connecting these creeps that are launched onto me with mine own do we that would be better than what you're doing give you twice as much because like if you kill this creep it's not only giving you farm but it's denying his farm so it's like double yeah. the value whatever you steal like whichever camp you steal has double the value than the camp you the camp you only take like f your own okay deny 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 since we are not doing nothing here anymore we want to deny 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 because we don't care that much that it's gonna push into that we just wanna you know annoy the pa of not g giving him any creeps it's like advanced ad idea sometimes you don't want to do it but like you're ahead so why not just get deny some creeps cool 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 and whenever you have free time like of not being able to anything deny or last hit, I would be right clicking some of these creeps because you have like you have plenty of them. Like it, it's my, gonna stay my here. own creeps. Right? Yeah, uh, no, no, at the enemy, enemy creeps, because oh. you have plenty of them. Uh, I wouldn't go for the range creep. I think there's it's... two range creeps. I think that's why I went for it, so the yeah. lane doesn't push into the tower. Yeah, sure. Like you, you, you can do it. Like how, um, however, well, like I, I don't have much answer for it. You, you just have to balance it. You, you have to balance it in a way that, um, it's still gonna stay here. So you want more enemy creeps than your own creeps, but, okay. but, uh, um, how to say it? You, you want more creeps than uh, more enemy creeps than your own. So it constantly stays here. Until the until the time they pull, but you still have to like balance it. Let's say they have free range creeps, then I would consider like killing some of them. Or they have like six melee creeps, I would maybe kill some of the melee creeps. Something like that. Like you have to balance it. But so whenever whenever there's some low low HP creep, I would go for the deny last it. But if I have nothing to do, I'm trying to balance it out. So in this case, I would just like hit melee creep or something, you know, I would just hit either melee creep or range creep. Issue of hitting range creep is it, it, sometimes it puts you on timer. Like it, it's sometimes scary because suddenly you're forced to do something with the range creep. Otherwise, they will like deny it or something like that. So that's yeah. the issue with going for the range creeps. So sometimes I'm like, when I'm not not totally sure what's gonna happen, I I rather hit the melee creep because I can manipulate way easier with melee creeps. See now 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 it's like again awkward, right? Something happened. You know, you killed the two most important creeps that will uh, make the lane to stay here, and now it's it's gonna push into into them, which which you don't want, right? So that's why I'm more into like hitting the melee creeps. It's like with the range creeps, messing with, with them, like, it's 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 like scary. Suddenly he like forces you. I'm gonna deny it if you don't kill it, but I don't wanna kill it yet because otherwise it's gonna push into you, you know, and you're putting yourself in unnecessary like spot of of I have to do something that I don't want to otherwise I will not farm it up nice you try to at least block it okay they, they pu oh they pulled by the way uh, you could have seen it on the the ward so always look here because this is their only counterplay right always as I mentioned if you if you mm, keep the creep wave here their only counterplay to beat you is to pull that's the only way so you actually like have to like while you're doing this you have to keep an eye on if he's pulling or not because that, that's gonna tell you what you want to do next and that might even change your movement a little bit instead of going up you would immediately go to the right side because you know that that was their only counterplay even if you don't have ward here by the way but since you do, you can immediately go to the right side once you kill the creeps. Again, you don't have to kill that that melee creep. Yeah, okay, you're dragging this wave. Okay. 
<laughs> he's trying to m- mess you up with the ogre. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he keeps trying to mess me up. Yeah, so yeah, it yeah, feels bad when r- right now I would be a little bit lost, like if I had this happening, because in my head there's some game plan usually, and if something like this happens, it's usually hard for me to like predict in this exact scenario what to do, so I cannot advise you that much. I, I, f- I think your plan I was just, quite... I just told him on the, yeah. ma- on the mic to like, don't grief me, drag them back to the tower. Yeah, they usually don't know what they are doing and stuff. I, I don't think it has much value of telling them, but you can. But but don't do it like aggressively I mean, he, or something. I, I wasn't aggressive. I just told him to like come back to the tower and he yeah, did. cool, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Okay, mm, yeah, I guess this this is fine plan. Yeah, th- there's like mo- like like you played it quite nicely. Like it wasn't perfect by any means, but you played it quite nicely. So now you have like advantage that you can even decide maybe even more options what to do with this creep wave but th- this one you chose is probably the main line and i would probably choose it myself as well you know because i'm thinking like oh how, how many hp this guy has you know well, what if i bring this creep wave to him and just start harassing him under tower and i, I don't care about these creeps i'm tanking because I, I just own this lane already which means I, if I harass this guy, he's not even gonna get these free creeps, and then I gonna get everything for myself. Or second thing I'm thinking about, hmm, what if I drag these creeps towards here, you know? So he has even less chance of getting any XP or anything, you know? Stuff like yeah. this. Uh, since, since I don't this... wanna do it with the ogre there, because like... I'm yeah, uh, but uh, with the ogre, why do you want, don't wanna do it with the ogre? Because he keeps like uh, attacking creeps and going a different direction, so it was like I can't drag them all the way back because I'm already late, so I just drag them there. Yeah, exactly. For all these reasons, it's like difficult and difficult. But but those are three things I'm considering whenever I do this move. I'm considering these things. This is the main line. It gives you something. It's beneficial. But sometimes they are just better better place uh yeah especially like this camp is blocked you know their only play if you dragged it here if, if somehow like ogre wasn't here you know and they didn't mess it up if you dragged it here their only play would be actually to pull this that's their only play okay so let's move on yeah just uh, uh just small trick it's not gonna help be helpful here but uh, in other games it might be is move left to right so the creeps constantly moving that way you will they will damage you even less but here it doesn't matter yeah because i have braces yeah instead of like moving like near them you need to move like left make like circles or something you know like 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 so enemy creeps constantly move you could have also done one trick here maybe i would aim to put some melee creeps to the range creep so the way how you do it, you maybe like drag it here, so the range creep goes a little bit m- more forward, so he's not like protected by this tower. I will show you the range. See now, now he's protected by the tower still. So maybe if you like put creeps here, and then you some of them you will drag on the melee creep, you will get melee creep. Then I that might be nicer, you know, than just getting the the uh, I, I meant the range creep. Then I. That might be nicer yeah. than what you did here, but it, it, this is all good. Like it's like it's already like uh, how how I see you laning. It's it's like five k level of laning, really. Yeah, I felt like this week at least. I felt like I won every single lane I was in. Yeah. So like, he. In- the only difference were like extreme counters to me because I pick third and sometimes safe lane picks last, right? So like there was Monkey King games that are very hard for like a Mars, right? Like I was trying to do everything, but like I kept getting harassed out of lane, and I would still come out like even. I wouldn't dominate the lane, but I'd still be even, like even in like very hard lanes. Yeah, I I will just rewind this for you just to see this. So. I, I, uh, for example, instead of moving like this, like smallly like this, or, or, or something like that, as I mentioned, you your aim would be to like right click some of the melee creeps when you have nothing to do. Uh, the next thing I want to mention is like the better you play, usually the more you will see that this guy is absolutely clueless, doesn't know what he's doing because you're basically one we freeing this one we freeing this line, like you're owning them alone. Let's say like you, you're really even if he wasn't here. You would already be winning just by what you're doing. So, 
he's gonna do just some random stuff usually. They just don't know what to do because everything is perfect for you. Enemy is not countering it and, and this guy is clueless. So he's gonna usually do some random like feeds because he's bored. So what, what you need to do is sometimes like either like tell him everything is good here, you know, I'm fine. And okay. uh, other, okay. uh, other thing... Uh, other thing what you can do is when he messes up like these things, for example, they go on him, right? And he has no creep protection. I would just spear. I would just spear here. The reason why I is... Spear. Yeah, the reason yeah. why is like, do I need any of my spells? Like, I, I, uh, everything's no. perfect, right? I don't have six yet, so I don't have like the killing potential. The creeps are pushing into me. I don't need those spells. Or let's say at least I don't need the spear. So I would just spear it so, so he doesn't take damage. Okay, um, um, wasn't the best usage of spells there, like to W the creeps, uh, so you, you don't want the W the range creeps as we mentioned, you, you're gonna, gonna know in the future, and if you do do this, I would aim for getting both of the range creeps, otherwise this, this you will not get this range creep versus better players. Yeah. So be aware of that. So whenever you damage range creeps below half HP with some spell, you have to finish them off. Otherwise, it's gonna be scary, and you you will just get denied of those range creeps. So yeah, don't don't do this place. That that wasn't beneficial. Like, do you remember how he talked about like they have the creep advantage? So usually the I fights just, were. I should just spear here, right? Like as soon as she goes on the ogre spear. And yeah, spear and then fall. Right. Yeah, exactly. Something like that, yeah. and, and hit, uh, hit the melee creeps with right clicks, so it doesn't push like too much into you. That's what I would do. Easy. You can even aim it so it hits some of the melee creeps if you want, but uh, <laughs> well, I I wouldn't even do that. It's just that you know what you want to do next, right? It's too little bit damage melee creeps, so it doesn't push too much yeah, into. Yeah, sometimes you. like I get caught in the moment and I don't think about those things anymore. Yeah. I, I'm just mentioning it like, like, what's your next step? That's always like in Delta. What's your next step? What's your next step? And that's how you're gonna know like how you wanna combine your like play in the future. That it, it can even be better than just spearing. But yeah, this was completely fine. Tango, tango, tango. Behind creeps. And near tower because tower, as we mentioned, gives the uh, the health region right and armor. Yeah. So it will heal a little bit more. So, like, getting to that point was, it wasn't the best execution really. It wasn't unnecessary to get that much damaged. Maybe like in your in your spare time you can watch this moment again, and like see how to play it out so you don't take that much damage because all this damage you took here wasn't necessary at all yeah yeah and we're gonna reach six like uh, n not not soon but it, it's coming so when you're gonna have like yeah five and a half you killed him perfect so this is the moment when I would buy something for for heals because I know in, in when he comes back or like in near future I need to be full HP the reason why is I want to get the arena so I hope in this career there's yeah I would send even send it back like once you killed him, like uh, before you killed him <laughs> you probably send it to query I don't care you killed him right now you know you're gonna get your six sooner I won't. Uh, to buy a region right now. I want to in this courier. I send him back and buy a region. You you want your HP. It's the perfect scenario. Once you're gonna get re HP, then I would pre uh, the my next step, my next plan is getting six with uh, the timing of this catapult reaching this distance. How do I do it? I, I just push slowly. So instead of only getting one one wave of this, I want to kill two waves before this catapult reaches their tower. Yeah. This allows me to combine my ultimate and killing the PA or forcing him to fuck off from my lane with killing this tower. So let's see how we play it out. I hope you're not gonna like spam spell. I see you have cooldowns, but like if you get into the center, I probably wouldn't have killed this creep wave with spells. 
you can even deny some of the creeps. I, I think it's still fine. Yeah, because you want to reach the six like with the next wave or you know. Okay, this is cool. Cool, this is nice. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. You're gonna get six. You can even tell him. Right now I would be telling him. I'm, I'm gonna get six. I, I, I'm gonna use the combo on the PA. I would tell him. So I, I like want his damage. I want his damage to kill the PA. Like without him, I will not kill the PA. Because he's full, right? Without him, I will not kill, kill him. So, so I would tell him. I have six. C come here, you know? Pink, pink, pink. I, I would ping the PA. I reached sixth. Yeah, and he left you. <laughs> but that's what I would be doing. Okay, denying the range creep. Um, I, I, um, yeah, okay. You, yeah, there's nothing. F it's sad because now it requires some team communica communication. You need him to go forward, right? You need him. Yeah. So, yeah. There's nothing else for you to do. I would still go forward and try to convince the yogurt to go with you. This is the only play you have. You, you, it's the best one because you want to invade this guy. You want to to, to make this catapult to survive, and you have nothing else to do. So that's what How's I would be doing. CS, by the way, is CS good? For this yeah, it's like for, for your rank, it's above average. It's like as I mentioned, it was like five five k of. Let's say the last thing was like. 4.8, I don't know, 5k, you know, it, it was above average for sure, like it was very good, 40 CS per 7 minutes, every game is different, you know, I, I never consider this stuff, I only consider like mistakes where you can get more creeps or or, or more than ice, I, I don't even care like about the numbers much, to be honest, like, because every game is like different, what if this guy like... Uh, allow you to get even more creeps, right? Suddenly it, it, it could have been 50, you know, or, or even more, maybe 55 if, if he made it like somehow perfect. But it's like improved since last week, right? For, for sure, for sure. Because uh, that was escalated because of getting those range creeps. As I mentioned, once you send me the replay and I wrote you, like, uh, don't forget about the range creeps, like, I think that that allowed you to get this advantage for sure. Every time you aggro went for the range enemy range key first, that allow you to gain this advantage for sure. You did it like three times minimum in, in this line, which was perfect. Yeah, so go go closer to the to the wave. You can even tank it so he doesn't kill the catapult. You just want this catapult. Pro, uh, you want the catapult to be protected. You don't want yeah. him to ever hit it with anything else than dagger. And if he daggers, suddenly he doesn't have dagger. And Dagger doesn't do that much. He wants to hit it. Creeps wants to hit it. And you, you want to prevent it from happening. I would just stand here and do, do, do nothing, you know? I would just stand here and, let's say, W if I want to. Just to damage him a little bit. So I can, like, kill him in the next 14 seconds. I might kill him because he's damaged. I would just stand here, W or something, protecting the catapult. You don't want this to happen. That's, that's not good. You want your ogre to be here because you have six. Like once ogre is literally here, if you can win him in any point in next 30 seconds, it's so good for you because if ogre presses it's two hard spells. kind of as well because a lot of people just don't listen at my rank. Yeah, yeah, and uh, the like, this game particularly, my sniper and my anti mage were like at each other's throats this whole game, and I genuinely feel what got us to win the game was me buying the anti mage of moonshard and bribing him to just play around me. <laughs> like, it's kind of hard to, like, get people to help out. Like, there's very little communication and everything. If you know what I mean. Uh, I don't know, maybe in 6k... Well, you like, you bro bo bought munch, uh, Muncha, uh, like, Munchart for, for, for anti -mage. anti -mage, Yeah, late game. Okay. I mean, I end up being very, very rich in this game. Because okay. anti mage doesn't want to play top, so I took over top and like I had something like a 14 or 15 minute desolator, so it was one shotting waves. Cool. So the counterplay to like if nobody plays with you uh, is just to damage uh, the PA over time, and then you will kill him on your own. Yeah. yeah. But that's the only play. So whenever I get the chance, I just you know W him. Especially if I'm about to lose it something. Like even here, I just spear. 
Like, if, if this guy is not playing with me, I just spear right here, just to damage him a little bit more and I get to lose it. Because I want to give get him into certain uh, HP like points. Cool, like yeah. Him, yeah. yeah, even like 65 or something. So here again, a little bit too passive. So I will show you the creep wave here. So, so instead of like doing this, I would even put all these creeps and these creeps, I would put them here. Just so I farm both at the same time. Because yeah. can PA come to me no, and farm it? Like I fuck her up. Yeah, exactly. Especially when this ogre is still here, right? He's still here. So I actually bring the fight to ogre. So there, he's there's now two options, uh, either you know, be useful no, or he, he's gonna fine. leave. <laughs> yeah, but still, I would bring those scripts probably here just to get. I think both. I die here because, like, I yeah, he left. I saw I, him pull and then, like, I, I get jumped here or something. Yeah, I, I would still consider a little bit. Like, the, the, especially if you did it sooner, you might, like, uh, the ogre plan might have changed. Might, might change, you know, if you drag these scripts immediately, like from here, if you drag them here, ogre might have played differently. He would stay it and you guys would get all these creeps plus these creeps. It's better than like allowing PA to farm because like think about it from PA perspective right now. If he sees this and some somehow he like manages to see that Ogre is not here, he, he notices by vision of creeps. He has like vision here and, and, and stuff. So, yeah. so uh, it, it might allow him to get some farm here. He didn't do it immediately. Like if I was PA, I would be like maybe here or something trying to farm some creeps of over here like with Qs or whatever or just mess up with Ogre something or just leave or something uh, but yeah he didn't do it immediately so he m will probably not get any creeps here if he goes right now but still like he he, he might get you know something he might get the last it's of the of your creeps he might not get any like of the jungle creeps but he might get last it's of his own creeps and I, I don't want to give him that Yeah, again, uh, he, he, he just killed one jungle uh, creep and now he's getting the neutral items. The way how you uh, counter it is actually the jungle items will not spawn if you're close to him. So if you bring those creeps again here, suddenly even if PA kills some of the creeps, he, uh, they will not spawn jungle item. Mm -hmm. Because you're too close. I, th I think it's still in the patch notes. It was like if you're in some sort of range close to the enemy, the jungle jungle items will not spawn. I think it's still the case. Uh, another value why do you want your hero to be closer to it? You can sometimes steal some of the creeps with your spell. Sometimes. It's gonna be hard, two versus one. Unlikely you might get damaged a lot and stuff. I get it, but still, like if they jump on you, you can spear them away. Uh, I I would still be here and see what's happening, rather than doing nothing. See if he uses uh, W on you, just spear him away or something. I know they can silence you. It's a little bit scary without your teammate. So maybe what you're doing is is the correct play because it's the proper play of. They cannot damage you for free, but you know, yeah, it, it's already not Dota once the ogre left and did nothing, so it's kind of <laughs> whatever you do is fine, I guess. Yeah, it's just about thinking about plays that might have been better. Yeah, like it's a little bit scary. Like, imagine if he silences you through trees, right? Suddenly you cannot spear the PA, right? And they get a huge damage burst on upon you. That would be scary. So, I get why you don't want to go there. That's why. I think I die here anyway. Yeah, that, that's why I'm mentioning, like, uh, immediately, instead of, like, waiting here, I would drag this wave and move it to the right and make the fight here where my ogre is. So they cannot do anything about it. I will get some jungle items. It's 7 minute mark plus. I will get jungle items. I will get more farm because I will kill the the jungle camp. And yeah, and PA still cannot fight me. I, I will force him to do something here. You know, instead of 
you know, instead of splitting the the lanes, because that's what PA wants. He wants to not meet you at all. He doesn't want to meet you because you're yeah, ahead of him. Yeah, until minute twenty-five, he wants. Yeah, to until the points. yeah, like now you're still ahead of him, kind of. So he doesn't want to meet you. Unnecessary ult. I would just chill and not ult at all. I would. My my goal would be to keep my HP high. I would probably, since I don't have my offlaner here or nobody, I would probably kill this wave as fast as possible because I know I cannot beat them two versus one. I would kill this wave fast as possible and I would farm here. Yeah. Th that would be my one thought. And second thought would be I would kill this wave as fast as possible thinking of which lane can I go to to y utilize my ultimate. Because it's not top if nobody helps me. Funny enough, if you notice, the fucking arena blocks the silence. I'm, I'm gonna check like it. Fun interaction. Blocks the silence damage. Wait, where was it? Oh yeah, it's here. Uh, oh, no, no it doesn't. Yeah. Only thing it blocks is like projectiles. Uh. Right At clicks. least I get the two creeps that are trying to run towards me with the arena. That's an efficiency arena here. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Like, don't, don't, don't ult it. Just get the yeah. wave. Or see if somebody is near you. If nobody, you know, you are not going to be able to utilize your ult here. You're very powerful, so I would be thinking, can I utilize it here or here? If not, I'm farming this and waiting for my team to go top again. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's not total. Like it, it, this is the percentiles that's not totally your fault, it, because like you did lots of things correct here, but then he leaves you instead of winning. What can you do? You know, you play in your tier. So, some of the games will will be like this. But yeah, don't you use your ult like this? You don't want to fight two versus one, stuff like that. When do supports like get better? Like what tier? Like they actually <laughs> understand not pulling the creeps back, not like uh, it's pulling not, camps it's, when doesn't need to. It's not even happening in divine ranges. It depends, depends who you're gonna get, if it's support player or not. I mean, like, like I literally like just thought about every single thing that griefed me as a Mars when I was playing Vengeful. I had something like six or seven wins in a row with her while I was getting ranked games, like role games. I think you the way is like to tell them somehow like calmly that like it's good I'm winning let, let let's kill this guy they yeah, yeah they they usually like some emotional stuff probably that's what how I'm thinking about it so if you if I you say like support, I asked him to pull and he told me that he's muting me because I'm toxic and all I did was like could you pull that please yeah that's all I said and he's like muted toxic. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jesus. So, I, I think... all he was doing, he was sitting in trees, leeching. Yeah, I, I think, like, people like, like, emotions mostly and stuff, so they like, like, kills or stuff like that. So, for example, here I would be saying something like, oh, we can kill this PA. Suddenly, Ogre might, like, trigger in his brain, you know? Oh, you know, dopamine. I'm gonna kill nope. something. Yeah, uh, and he might come. Yeah, so now you threw your ad your big advantage. You're still ahead, by the way. <laughs> Even after this, you're still ahead. Yeah, yeah, but, I know. But, yeah. I mean, I come back really fast after this kill. I think I get a double yeah. kill top, and then I rotate mid and get a double kill there as well. Yeah, this was like the most five important. Five minutes from now, I'm on a, a mega kill streak or something. Yeah. So now, after this laning stage, what I'm going to mention is you reach the point where it's uh, already not like laning stage yeah, and like, you don't have yeah. ultimate so what do you think is your primal goal with mars right now when you like respawn and let's say you tp or... here or something yeah you and you want to do it as fast as possible so instead of just right clicking use every single spell you have instead of me right clicking this creep i, I wouldn't right click this creep i would cr uh, right click the high hp creep and i would spear this thing or something, you know. I would ha kill the uh, hit the melee or range b based on if I can die or not. That's based on like who is showing on the map. Uh, uh, and my aim would be to kill this wave as fast as possible without dying and without being like super damaged or something by enemies going enemy. 
that would be my goal. Instead of just getting one creep by one, that, that's not my goal anymore. I want to kill this wave as fast as possible. So again, the information of these creeps going forward, I, I know where people are. I It also protects me because I don't have ult. Uh, I want to be. Pro I want to have some protection. It allows me to farm faster because this wave is already dead, so I don't have any obligations to stay in lane anymore. Stuff like that. Because I'm not killing anybody here until I have ult. So I just want to farm as fast as possible. Right click, right click, right click, and at the end use the spell. Like once all the creeps are low HP, use the spell and fuck off. Because whenever you you use the spell, you are weak, right? Some somebody might kill you if you use the spell. Right? Yeah. So so that's why you want to use the spell at the end of it, not at the beginning. It's, and yeah, definitely don't just s small slowly right click. Just <laughs> right click this guy, right click this guy, right click this guy, spell, and fuck off. This is so slow. Yeah, yeah. It's not laning yeah. stage anymore. So yeah. Cool. So again, the same thing, right? Kill it as fast as possible. Don't right click it this slowly. It's not lane stage. It's gonna repeat. I, I know okay. we didn't discuss this, so um, next time I want to see you. There we go. I did it. I did yeah, it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to see you like doing it whenever you're not strong to do it as fast as possible. With Mars, it's no arena means you want to do it as fast as possible. Okay, this is catapult fight. Uh, again, nobody is near you. Uh, it's up to your consideration. It's difficult to kill him solo. Either damage him or, or leave it. You know, one of those two options. I would probably probably rather damage him, but you might die solo. <laughs> I I don't have answer for you. This is like from my perspective, this is like I'm in pain. If I play Oflader, I'm in pain when the, the, when I see this because again I have everything and nobody's with me, so I'm in pain. <laughs> but yeah, because like my option is like let him farm and. I'm not getting this tower, or I'm gonna do aggressive thing that will force TPs, and PA might farm everything and get kill upon me. Both options are kind of meh. I would probably choose the aggressive and go for me go dying for and going for here. Now. Yeah, yeah. Also, don't don't use arena yet. Just 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 damage him. You know, play, play it, play it as you expecting enemies to TP here. Play play it this way. You expecting enemies to TP here. And you're alone, so play it this way. Uh, you wanna like use spell uh, to damage him a little bit, but then you wanna back off and and wait Go for yours. Go mid by the way. Go uh, mid. I wanna see something on that tusk. Our sniper's nine. What level is tusk? Eleven. We lost mid so hard. Yeah. I remember because sniper kept like bitching that like tusk is level sixteen and the game is lost like twelve minutes in or something. Yeah, it's sad. you you can win everything. <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna win. <laughs> yeah, damage him nice. Did something nice. You damage him again. Cool, cool. I like it. I like it. And now we be like chill and expect uh, expect TP from Sky or from somebody. Uh, yeah, we chill. You even deny. That's cool. Yeah, that's what I would do as well. Like, there's no other like play. Like getting this camp sucks kind of it's like yeah you're gonna farm he's gonna farm i don't like it i would rather damage him and aim for the com uh, ha uh ha damage him to to the point where i can combo him so this is cool i wouldn't do this just because um, how to say it Mm, it, it's tough, but mm, how to say it? I usually like to aim mm, so it doesn't only kill the creeps, but it also damages the enemy. And um, how to say this? Uh, okay, I will say it this way: this play, what you did, like killing with both spells, is only good if you right now gonna TP somewhere. Otherwise, uh, I don't see value in it. Yeah. That much. Mm. Uh, maybe it has a little bit of value that you're gonna do this, kill the catapult, and then you're gonna go kill the melee camp. That might also have some value. 
but that's about it. So so if I don't see you TPing somewhere, which probably is unlikely you're gonna TP somewhere right now. So if I don't see you going for this camp, then then pressing those two spells on, on creeps without damaging the opponent, uh, I don't see value in it. Okay, you're going for the for the. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, but it, it wasn't that much of a mistake. Like uh, either way was good actually. Like it, 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 as I mentioned, it's over, like laning stage is over, right? So you might consider shoving lanes as fast as possible. So I, I don't mind it that much, you know. I don't mind it that much. It's just like <laughs> you, you have. And now I'm just gonna fuck with the fact. Yeah. Person. Now this is cool. I like this. Okay, he's low HP, and in the next uh, cooldowns, we're gonna kill her. So, for example, here, the, don't cast both spells on these creeps, because if you do, it's kind uh, It's so hard for me to say. I, I just, the way, I, how I visualize it is... How do I say this? I have no kill for it. Yeah, you That's don't have kill threat for 12 seconds, so I, I don't know how to, yeah, it, it's like, I, I like it and I don't like it at the same time, because like, it's fast and it allows you to have your cooldowns again faster, but you don't have kill threats, so uh, yeah, we, we'll probably skip this step and just ignore it, because like, both things are kind of correct, but you know, bad at the same yeah, time, right? yeah, but they're fine, like, uh, yeah. the way how I would play, yeah, the, the way how I would play it is I would probably cast only one spell and save the other and just right click those creeps. Because I still had time, you know, like, why to cast both spells so I don't have any kill threat or anything? Why not just cast one spell and then right click every single creep there? Because I'm still staying here, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, so now you right click tower, that's perfect, that's great. I'm gonna cut the wave. Oh, uh, yeah, don't don't use your boots, by the way, here. It's scary if you use boots. It's your protective uh, spell. I did this mis mistake many times. And then and I thought, know. like, why do I even use boots, you know? Like, their only counterplay is if they TP here and kill me. So I need every single thing that makes me unkillable, you know? So I don't use face for no reason. And I just, like, hit creeps. I don't even put myself in, like, danger places. Uh, I wouldn't even put myself behind tower here. It's just from experience, it's way easier to kill you if you're standing here than if you're standing in this place or this place. Because then, then the pathing to run away is just deadly for you. So yeah, do only this when like you're unkillable and you know nobody can TP here to kill you. Because this way you're gonna kill the wave faster. So this is more aggressive approach you have to drink. I would be still consider considered to... Um, be, use the passive play or at least like stand here and use one spell or something like that and then back to the left and don't use both don't use both spirit is also the the your protection okay we got tower perfect okay don't walk away you don't see anybody but you saw a few seconds ago you saw sky you can check his items like what does he have you know stuff like that and yeah so it's 12 10 so that's not enough time to block this and get the next wave because that wave would still be around this area and they might kill you there so i would be considered to just uh, you know get the jungle jungle creeps here and w w see what happens once they show some heroes you might go through this area towards mid but if they don't i would be just farming probably also buy smokes if nobody is buying them, because Mars likes to utilize them, right? Like every single Mars arena with with smoke might be good in mid game. Yeah. So preemptively buy them, you know, if you want. Or like let's say with the blink or something, you can buy buy one. Oh, I don't go blink here. I go uh, what you call it. I I just go desolator. Okay. Because I felt I had a really good game, so I wanted to capitalize on like that. Because this allows me to one-shot waves. Yeah, it's based on what your aim is in the game. Uh, the way how I see it is... Um, can... push lanes. Uh, you wanted to push lanes, right? 
yeah yeah so so the thing about pushing the lanes this allows you to one shot it with one spell right yeah uh is it even with q like if I don't you need use this I just use my W. Uh, I know it's W, but like uh, if you buy the Zo, I, I don't play this hero. If you buy the Zo, if you no, spear, no, does it magic. amplify? Doesn't right? Yeah, so no, you no. cannot kill it with with spear. So so the point is the way to kill the wave would be to to go get close to it and kill it, and then you walk away. But um, issue with this is like I look at their heroes and um, how to say. It? It's just that, um, like all all of them have like this guy charges, this guy charges with the ball, snowball, you know. That guy silences. That, that guy si like silences and slow slows you if if it hits you. So yeah. all these things I'm considering. Hmm. Well, if my goal will be to push out lanes, what? Like which item allows me to do it better? Dezo kills the wave, yes, but doesn't prevent me from getting charged, getting snowballed, getting you know silence and and slowed and die. Uh, only protection I have against all these free heroes is like face boots. That's about it, and I don't think that's enough. You know, you will not run away from them. So I'm more thinking of what what if I just cast both spells to kill the wave, and if they are snowballing if they are charging me if sky is using the silence and slow i just blink out and i will not get get damaged by it and i face boot and walk away so that's how i think about it so maybe in this case i would choose blink first over the desolator just because of the goal of my hero I, I chose I felt they weren't going on me. I felt like they were just focusing on the sniper and anti-mage. So That's fine, but like, like mm, think about it. Mm, like, what does the shoving lane, you know, better? Like, mm, if if that's your goal. Um, if you can I survive... I was kind of lucky because I had Deso and then two minutes later I had a blink. So like, it mm -hmm. didn't really get too different. Because as soon as I got the Deso, I like started killing a lot of people with it. Yeah. Like I was almost one shotting the Skyrat mage. Yeah, if you could survive if you could survive like uh buying Desolator and still shoving lanes, it, it it's definitely it, it's good, it's better even. But I, I don't think if if they went on you, I don't think you can survive it without the blink. So it allows you to like push even further, even the more dangerous areas. Let's say with Desolator you might be maybe able Almost nothing really, but like, let, let, let's say you can push it out like towards here. I, I don't even know where you can push it out without them killing you if you have only Dezo in, in better games. But um, my, my point is with Blink, you will able to push it out even further. Yeah. That's how I, I see it. Go push, go trees, go yeah. push, go trees. And until they push. show themselves. You don't have yeah. to blink out, so you are safe until they show themselves. And once they show themselves, you blink out because, like this, this is uh, this. Yeah, blink trees go bot. Yeah, the, like the beast, he makes noise when he charges now, even now. in fog. Yeah. yeah, even in fog, you will always see the snowball. Like he doesn't have like the the range spell that he casts immediately. So based on what they play, the only hero can that can fuck you up if you go for blink is W from PA. Yeah. So Even he, he, can, like, blink he out yeah, but like he can go like invis and W. That would be scary stuff. That would be the only reason why I wouldn't consider blink. I would still try it, even though. I, me, I think at this stage of the game, PA wouldn't even dare do that, unless she has people there. Yeah, but like in good games, he he actually even might do it. In good games, he might because in better games they know all this stuff. So. So they know that the PA is the only hero that can mess up with Mars if he uses, uh, if he goes for the blink first. So he might even consider playing here and just constantly trying to killing you uh, for you being greedy. So yeah, but, uh, that's all the things like I'm thinking about. Then I decide to go for a some item and you know and and hope for the best, you know, and maybe consider it differently. I, I don't have that much experience with the like offlaner, so I would. St 
they'll try to blink and see what happens. Like let's say I can maybe play around in the trees and and hope the the PA is not gonna blur. And if he's gonna play here, I might even smoke him and kill him. If he constantly tries to kill me, I can try to kill him back. Stuff like that. So I, I would probably chose blink here over desolator. And yeah, what's your next item? Probably BKBs would be good, good uh, item. I go death or... blink BKB. Yeah, yeah, those three items are good. And then I go assault Koreas, uh, overwhelming blink. Yeah, sure. They have like the how they gonna kill you? They gonna like throw the magic upon you, like the task into Skyrat. So that that's why we have the BKB. It prevents versus primal. It's it's so good item here. It's very good. The faster you get blink, the the with uh, I mean not blink the BKB. The, the the faster you get a BKB, it's gonna be amazing. That's your perfect timing to to beat them all. Um, and you can even beat them sooner, by the way, with Mars. Uh, and yeah, assault to prevent task and PA uh, damage, physical damage. The, the that would yeah, and then all, my all last these items. Item was the moon shard for the anti mage was behind. Yeah, that's what I wouldn't buy. I would rather consider. I think it saved me the game because up till that point, AM was playing by himself. So I, Sniper was <laughs> playing by himself. They were like sure. getting picked off, and after that, AM did whatever I told sure, him to. Sure, so. sure the t teammate value. You you give them I, I 4K brought, and suddenly they right. team up. <laughs> sure, sure, yeah, like I, I'm all up for it. Like let, let's do it. Whatever wins you the game, do it. Uh, yeah. Okay, I will rewind back again this this stuff. So kill the wave and then you TP it, which is what I like, but there are some issues with this. Before you TP it, before you TP it, you didn't like look there, so you don't know what's happening. So mm -hmm. um, how would you, like while you're TPing, how, how would you evaluate um, TPing here? I saw Tusk mid, so I knew Tusk was their strongest player and I could kill anyone else at this point. Mm -hmm. So you're going for the kills. I would still... Uh, I for Skyrath. I saw Skyrath, I knew Bisc couldn't kill me, so I just went for Yeah, Skyrath. Antem is dead, so if you go here, you might kill one or two guys, maybe. But, I kill both of them, I think. Sure, yeah, sure. But um, the, the issue is, like, you you don't have much like infos. You don't have infos of uh, PA and stuff like that. I know it's, like, low tier and PA is probably somewhere else and stuff like that. I mean, it's minute 12, so I don't expect PA to be there. And take his roams. Exactly, but like he can, like he 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 still can be. Mm, how to say? It? He can st still can like be farming towards this area and may maybe go there. Uh, mm, uh, how to say this? Like I I would I would want you to evaluate it like from one to ten points, like how valuable this is, because you're gonna use Mars Arena here. You're not gonna gain like any like objective out of it you're gonna be far from like lane and uh, you're gonna use your tp and ultimate the strongest stuff that allows you to get objectives in future and you're gonna kill like some support maybe two kills you know it's and your anti which already died so it's kind of like i i don't value this this that that high you know i, I don't yeah, value I mean isn't it better than what I was doing top? Because I just cleared both Yeah, camps. exactly. That's why it's not that bad. But what you can consider is mess up with PA here if it's here, you know? You can steal all these camps. Uh, that, that might be yeah. one consideration. Because, like... Um, but yeah, sure. Like, uh, for example, th this play is good for defending this tower. Because if you kill them here, and suddenly they might not get your tower. So I'm okay with it. I I'm just saying that the, the TP is not like 10 out of 10 TP it would be lower. <laughs> yeah. So so it's always good. always That's before good. you TP, keep an eye on what happened here. Like like yeah. have get your camera here and check what's happening. Anti mage died. For example, if Ogre died as well or was about to die, I I, I might not even TP. I would give them the tower and make something here. Yeah. For myself. So you have to know like what's happening. You can even keep Keep watching, you can keep watching what's happening with camera while you're farming. Because it's even less likely they're gonna attack you in the times where they are already attacking somebody else uh, elsewhere, yeah. right? So so that's the time when I, I even, 
I even waste some creep for it just to have just so I have perfect information just so I have better information. I, I even miss some CS rather than than not getting all the information. Because all yeah. the information might turn the game around completely. Like if you watch if you tip it here one second it little suddenly it it would uh, save anti match. It wouldn't in this case, but like in some cases, if you TP one second, it'll, uh, it might save the anti match. It can change the whole game. The the one CS in mid game, it's not gonna change the the game that much. Yeah. It, like the the later it gets into the game, the less value every single creep has. It's important in the beginning because it's like high ratio of your net worth, but n not now. So, okay, so you kill them, cool. And now the they are not going for the mid tower, so I would consider shoving some lanes after you kill this guy or after something happens in the fight. Yeah, you kill them, cool, cool, cool. and then, then you aim for some lane. So PA is alive and Tech is alive. Tech is show top. You don't know where PA is. You're walking back to heal. Mm, I would at least soul ring and kill the jungle camp. You know, something like that. You know, this yeah. one. Just I still have my TP, that's why, right? Yeah, the, the, that's one of the reasons, but the second one is like, you still had some mana, some HP, so uh, it doesn't take you any seconds if you kill when you kill this this camp, right? It, you just threw two spells, you right click it one time and you, you go away. So so you will not waste almost any time and you will gain I'm one free camp. I'm ahead of the PA at this point. 2k, because I want the lane. Yeah, so they're walking back top, okay, that's reasonable, uh, buy smoke by the way. Yeah, I don't buy any smoke because in you, this game. <laughs> my, my consideration is like, mm, my consideration is like, uh, the, uh, once I go top, right, my, my, mm -hmm. what I'm thinking of, I want to TP somewhere once I kill the wave, right? Yeah. So I, I'm gonna have the Marsult, so I, I want to make everything possible for me so I am ready to 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 go somewhere some places I don't think you're allowed to farm as anti mage is meaning I don't think you should aim for finishing your item in this scenario I would rather make space for the anti mage than than to finish the item but that's your call you know you're pretty close to it it's it's 500 gold you know yeah. It's up to you how, how we evaluate it. Me, myself, I would probably get smoke, buy two of these items, throw it instead of killing blade, uh, and then, you know, TP to, 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 to some area and make some play, or at least, you know, have this in mind. Yeah, don't go this place. I think you should go to the lane. Because... You, mm, how to say this? Yeah, the, the, yeah. Your pathing you're having right now is like carry pathing, and I, I, I don't, I don't like it. It's like once you have Mars Arena up, you're strong, so you will look for any opportunity to, to yeah. use it. Yeah, to use it. Like if you were anti mage, you're like, oh, I have ultimate. I still want to farm, you know, so I want to get this camp, then I want to get, you know, wave, I want to get this camp, I want to get this, this, stuff like that. But with Mars, it's like, I kill this wave, and I still thinking, I, uh, you might walk this way, but instead of killing this camp, I will just go straight to the lane and kill the, the next. So I'm fast. Th this wave dies, and I immediately want to TP or something, you know. I don't want to like farm it up, but it's your it's your call, you know. You you're very close to Desolator. It's your call, like it's not that bad, you know. You're very close to item, so I understand you you want to farm it up. It just see what happened, like two players died or something. You're farming like carry stuff like this is happening, and yeah, you're playing it like carry right now. So yeah, I, I know you like the, the sometimes it's like good like to 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 boost your MMR, but I, I'm pointing out that with the offlaner, I'm considering more like the plays, and with carry I'm considering more the farm. Uh, yeah, you already have this later. Immediately send it out. You have to. The sooner you send it, the the faster you will be able to make the play. So every second matters. 
cool. You see some people on mid. What I would be doing with camera, I would be checking what's happening. So I have, uh, uh, so I know what's happening. And yeah, I'm still cool with that. <laughs> cool. Were not checking. Yeah, and and my first intention is always to go forward instead of backwards. So uh, you, to go forward, you need to know what threatens you, and you see like lots of players in this area. So I would still probably consider to go forward. At least you will learn like what kills you and stuff. So if you go backwards, it's too passive. So enemy is usually doing something and you're not. So it's kind of kind of wasteful. Cool, PS here, damage her a little bit. Get the wave, cool. Now they are on mid, right? And they don't have PA, right? Yeah. So again, the same thing. Camera, check what's happening because you, you might consider defending this building, you know? With Ogre being alive. Sniper is dead, so it doesn't look that great. But at l you might still consider it at least or something, you know? Yeah, it doesn't look that great. You have Dezo, that's cool, but yeah, it doesn't look that great. Of course they fed, but in normal games, it doesn't look that great. Because it, it didn't allow you to defend this building, so it was already dead. And what if you don't kill anything, you know? Or what if... Mm, let's say it. Well, P, well, wh yeah. yeah, while you're doing this, like, PA is farming, something like that, or mm, how to say it. So my objective was to defend the building and I failed, basically, and then I'm getting some, like, consolation. Yeah, and so now for 80 seconds you're gonna farm again, you know? Yeah. And it, you cannot make any, like, play out of it. So, again, this fight I value... I don't know, 4 out of 10, you know, like, yeah, you might get a kill, what if you don't, that would be totally bad, and yeah, but the ult is not up, the tower is dead, but, you know, it's not that, that horrible, I guess. I get a double, so yeah. I, I, I get something. Yeah, I would rather be, like, aggressive here or something than here, but it's it's okay, I guess, I don't know, you know, it's hard to, hard to say for me. I usually place this stuff like from carry perspective and from carry perspective I pers perspective I like to see my team like doing as much as possible with their spells. That was a sick play, did you see that though? <laughs> and nice. Okay, cool. So let's rewind forward. Okay, this is cool. We're killing this wave, this is great. We're going to the right side to kill, okay, that's reasonable. Okay, now we don't have ult, so what we do, again, we kill this main wave, that's cool, great, great, great. Use the spell on this for sure, soul ring and use spell and go top. You don't want to stay here. Your goal, you don't have ults, your goal is to defend every single tower that is nobody defending. Either that, yeah. either that, or you keep fighting here. So once you kill this, you either go to your team, which, you know, you don't have ult. So it's only up to you, like, to consider how strong you are. You have Deso and Blink. So maybe you're st strong even without ultimate. But that's up to you to consider it. Because, um, you know, you have anti-mage in, in, in game and he might co want to, you know, tip it up and kill this. So you might want to give him and make space for him. And with Blink this later without ultimate, you might want to still fight bottom once you kill one wave here, you might want to go to the right side. That's up to you, but definitely don't just kill this small camp. Just kill it immediately and either to the left or don't even touch the, the, the small camp, kill the wave and go here. It's only two options. This is so slow. And now we lost tower, maybe, maybe even because of it. Or at least you could have got deny, you know, open tower. Because you're here, you're here like 7 seconds too late. Something like that. So you might got the uh, yeah, yeah. tower. Also, there's trick with blink. Just when it sends it out to you, uh, drop any item, stake, bracer or something to your inactive slots. So you have already blink uh, ready. It, it, sometimes it can even save your life, by the way. Uh, because... Uh, the blink gets only cooldown damage. I think still it's it's this way. Only if your damage while you own uh, have the blink dagger on yourself, which means 
imagine if you're like playing here, right? They damaging you. Uh, I will, I will put free camera. They damaging you, right? And 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 courier is flying to you. You make space for your for your blink with some slot. And then stop blink. Right? And then we blink away immediately, even when they damaged you. I think it still works. So yeah. Yeah, you're farming like carry, like the, I get this camp because it's gonna respawn, right? In my defense, I was telling Antimage the whole fucking game to go top and the uh, Of course, game. like no, no, I'm I'm not pointing out that this is bad. I'm pointing out that I'm more consider killing even the second wave and not farming uh, these camps, even that that they're gonna respawn. I, I I usually I play it as you, by the way. I usually play it as you. I just get even if I'm like Mars and yeah, different. Just feel might as well get ahead if like no one else wants to. Exactly, use the exactly, exactly. Oh, you don't have t TP, so yeah, that's what I would do as well. It, it just if you had TP, if you had TP, uh, I'm rather cons and you had ultimate. I'm rather considering I'm get the wave top and get the second wave top and I you know blink out and t TP to some other area, something like that. Yeah. I think uh, they rotate four heroes here to kill me and they get me. But, but what you did is fine, you're r ramping up your farm. Oh, th this is not good, by the way. <laughs> I will remind. I will show you. So, so what you did till this point was like, it's fine. You're farming, you're showing the lane top. It's all good, right? You don't have TP yet, so you cannot like utilize your uh, arena much. You want to like preferably smoke with your team or team play around you or anti-mage playing on some other lane so you can make play uh, but none of it is happening that's all based on your teammates so uh, what you have to do is respect that you don't see them and rather go for the task than than to go here You already killed the wave, like there's nothing f for you to do. You still have to wait for this creep wave to, to reach you, like to reach you closer. Yeah. So, yeah, I would rather go for the task in this center. It's too scary for... And def definitely we're not ever blinking into them. Uh, if we want to do this, you, you can consider hiding, no use, yeah. use, use both spells and then blink out. You don't want to blink ever into them like this ever if, if I was kind of just testing it if I how fast I can kill him like I was wondering if I can like hit him with rebuke spear and he's dead like, yeah that's cool health. but still you would die from the the PA beast after this you don't have BKB to survive it yeah I miss my spear so he, he support and your most farm hero in the game so th this is like death of carry you know that knows what he should be doing so it's very cost death so don't ever do this kind of place always have some yeah. like option to to walk away from it if, if it doesn't run great so instead if you want to do it i would stand in the trees and i would kill the wave with two spells and blink out immediately and i would have to do it very fast and even then they can kill me to be honest but yeah if they are good, like they can go behind me and stuff like that, damage me uh, while I'm trying to accomplish this, stuff like that. Because where else am I, right? Like I wasn't bottom with Mars. I wasn't here to kill Task. So where am I? Of course I'm top, right? So enemies will yeah. know this in better and better games and they will prepare for you and kill you. But yeah. Is there something uh, more you want to like uh, look at in this replay? I was wondering about like mid game and late game decisions. Mm -hmm. I want okay. to like have a cool replay. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Perfect. So now only tech is alive, right? He doesn't have mines anymore, right? So beast, yeah, he's gonna have ult, but you have sniper. I will try to again convince uh, the team to to go mid and kill the kill the tower. The way how you do it, you just have to keep an eye on the beast. So I would be somewhere in the river with my blink and doing nothing, just standing there and po positioning, so my sniper mm -hmm. can hit the tower, stuff like that. 
You know, because if you're in the river, suddenly Tehis cannot be here, right? Suddenly Tehis cannot be yeah. here. Because if he's here, you blink behind him, spear him, you know, whatever. Sniper is going to kill him. So you guys three are strong versus these two players. And they cannot kill you guys. But if you leave, suddenly, like, how are they going to do it? Sniper dies, you know? Sniper might die from the charge or something. Well, but if you're near them, I don't think they are dying. So be aggressive. Whenever people are dead, usually try to come up with some plan to be aggressive because enemies yeah, are dead. Go on objectives. Yeah, yeah. Even even if you don't have the arena, doesn't matter. People you, you just die. Sometimes I like walk in a bad direction, and then I'm like think to myself, no, I have to go for objectives here, and then I like correct it. Like it's not instant, right? Yeah, but but it's still better than all the other players like i like that you're thinking about it like this this shows me that you're thinking about it i know it was executed kind of badly because i i mentioned that i would be rather in trees or something and just like stand there so my teammates can hit it rather than going for the the techies in backline because i know that if i go for techies in backline beast will kill me but those are stuff you need to like get with experience like if if i tell you it in this game it's not gonna help you much in the future game. You you just have yeah. uh, through experience. You just have to came up like what would be the most aggressive play that I can still survive. That there's no counterplay. It comes with another, experience. Yeah. I have another question. So here I'm gonna get BKB. I already have BKB because I have to sell one of my items anyway, right? Is it more worth to sell the bracer? It's almost minute twenty five. Or is it more worth to sell the uh, soul ring? I'm actually not sure about it. Um, I always have that like in my mind. Like, which one's more worth it? May maybe look up some professional with Mars, like what he's doing, because th these are usually the main items for the Mars. So you might look what he's doing. Uh, what I can tell you is this: like, value. Uh, for example, in this game, I would sell Soul Ring. Why? Mm -hmm. Because CM passive, right? Yeah. But it's only in this game. In other games, do, you, do does your hero need mana to, you know, throughout the game? I think Mars does need mana throughout the game yeah, a lot. Yeah, you always so, use spell. So I would probably go for selling the Bracer in other games. In this game, I would maybe try selling Soul Ring. I would try it out and see what happens because I have CM. But yeah, if you want to know precise answer, just really just find some guy that plays like how I send you the website. Just found a guy that like plays Mars, like most often played uh, Mars player. Uh, it's usually at the top, like who plays the Mars most. And you might find like what he sells if it's soaring or Bracer. Or you can get it through experience. Like have, have you got, have you got any point in time when you lacked mana? If yes, All next the time, time. So, yeah, then sell the bracer, right? I would probably say selling bracer is uh, better. Not in this game, but in all other games, it's it's better. Uh, blink, blink, blink. Face boots, face boots. Uh... I don't blink. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you gave him lane, that's cool. Against some smokes, you know, get yourself teleport scroll. So you have teleport scroll and get yourself jungle item. Yeah. Uh, kill this wave only from distance, because this is the most scary place to be. I know you have BKB, but uh, do you want to like waste it for no reason? There's no reason to not kill this wave from distance, right? So kill it with spells and then, then back off instead of like, you know, how to say it. Mm. You know, like instead of killing it from this place, kill it from the range creep place, you know? Like, yeah. This distance can force you to use BKB. Not good. No reason to use it. And once you kill this wave, again, I'm thinking of guys, I want to smoke you. I want to make a play. So if you had smoke in your inventory, they might, you know, listen to you. You can ping it preemptively, stuff like that. So while I'm walking towards mate, I tell them, guys, I want to smoke. 
and since they have usual brain lag of let's say 20 30 seconds the sooner you do it the better like if you do it from this position it's probably good rather than if you do say it here like if you set it here they are still gonna have brain lag of 20 seconds and they will not come but if you say it here they might come to you because right now everything is perfect right every lane is shaft you have bkb timing everything is perfect all you need is your teammates being close to you right now and you will win them the game that's all you need yeah it's it, it's a team game so yeah <laughs> kind of hard in guardian yeah exactly <laughs> i mean sniper even when we were like super ahead like we had to genuinely go to where sniper was because he wouldn't move out of the jungle he was just afk in the jungle yeah because he was very tilted yeah. Still one shot there though. Yeah. Uh, I think now it's based on like I, I wouldn't BKB if I checked task and beast items. Because like what I'm thinking uh, but it's very next level. What I'm thinking of like what can like stun me to 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 so people damage me. And I'm thinking of, well, only hero that can do that is like Task Blink or Beast Blink, right? Yeah. Otherwise, I don't need to use BKB, right? So if you at any point see, oh, this guy doesn't have Blink, oh, the this guy doesn't really have Blink. really bad from uh, Skyrath as well. Oh, he silence silenced like you? Shit. He silenced you, but still you can probably kill him, no, right? I, he didn't I silence did you, see? Before he silenced. Yeah, he didn't silence you. 